A Nationals MP has proposed a radical way to cover what's sure to be a massive flood recovery bill in Queensland and New South Wales. The federal member for Page has called for Australia's foreign aid to be frozen until the crisis has passed. Reduced to working out of his car after his local office was one of the casualties of the most devastating flood in more than 40 years, Kevin Hogan argues Australian charity should begin and stay at home. Temporarily, taking it from the foreign aid budget is a fair thing because foreign aid is about helping people in need. And right now we have a number of communities, including ours here, who are in desperate need. That argument didn't wash with at least one Lismore Labor councillor. It's absolutely galling that he's made this call just days after he's given a $24 billion tax cut to big corporations. I mean, where are his priorities? While the massive clean-up operation continues, many streets are still lined with rubbish. In Lismore, it's estimated it will take at least another two weeks to clear away the debris. Since the clean-up began on Monday, about 5,000 tonnes of flood debris has been collected from the streets of Lismore. Compare that to a normal year when about 30,000 tonnes of waste finds its way into the local landfill and the problem becomes apparent. With a constant stream of trucks still arriving at the Lismore tip, the local council has looked to Queensland to find a solution. A cross-border difference in environmental regulations and charges means it's more than $40 a tonne cheaper to send the waste to a landfill in Ipswich rather than dealing with it locally. At this stage, about 330 tonnes has gone there um, and we just have to do it to cope with the amount of waste uh, right now, but also over the coming weeks. One thing everyone agrees on, Lismore must find a solution to its chronic flooding problem. We will rebuild this. We have to then look. We can't let this happen again in 10 or 15 years' time. It's hoped hundreds more volunteers will join the clean-up effort over the weekend. Bruce McKenzie, ABC News, Lismore.